All right, welcome back. So we've talked about what is divination. We've talked about the basic use of a physical pendulum. And now we're gonna talk about your inner pendulum, okay? Your inner pendulum is simply your inner yes and no. In part two, I told you the story of driving in the car and I've got the pendulum now giving me the wrong answer. And it's essentially my higher self saying, stop asking me, you know the answer. We're, we're in conversation already. You have a feeling of what yes is and what no is. You no longer need this external tool, right? In that moment, in that car ride, I decided I needed an internal pendulum, okay? And this has become very powerful. And you are going to either receive or assign feelings within your body to yes or no. So um, we're going to go through the same process and the same questions we did with the physical pendulum, but instead of watching the physical pendulum move, you're going to be listening to your inner body. Now, you might feel a physical feeling or an emotional feeling. You might just have a knowing. You might see something in your internal vision. You might hear something in your internal hearing, right? So we're using our clairs here, clairaudience, clairsentience, claircognizance, clairvoyance, whichever is strongest and easiest for you, you're gonna get a sense of yes and a sense of no. And I'm gonna ask you in this container of our finding out to trust what comes through. Okay, your default is going to be to trust your instinct, um, to trust that, that first hit, okay? So we're gonna start with our ego killer meditation. So we'll do a shortish version now. So just um, sitting with your back straight, closing your eyes. Breathing deep into your lower body. Imagining the earth, breathing into the earth and imagining the earth rising up into your body and into your heart. Maybe taking a moment to, to breathe between the earth and the heart, establishing that loop, that connection. Imagining roots growing from your body, your root, your feet, your tailbone, your hips, growing down into the earth. Feeling the earth's energy rise into your heart. And opening to the great big vast unknowable sky above, the great mystery. And allowing that beautiful sky energy to begin to come down into your body, into your field, and into your heart. Feeling the sky energy and the earth energy come together in your heart, creating an openness and an expansion. Feeling your ego drift into the back seat, letting your heart come forward. And just keeping your eyes closed, continuing to breathe into your heart and into your body and asking yourself, your body, the question, body, show me my yes. And just notice what you feel. And we're gonna let it be quick. Body, show me my yes. Notice what you feel. Body, show me my no. Notice what you feel. And then something true, I have dark hair. I'm happy to be here doing this right now. and something false. I have light hair, I wish I was somewhere else. Is everything coming through, everything that I'm receiving and interpreting aligned with highest good and highest truth? Am I manipulating? And so you should be getting your yes, your no, your yes, your no, your yes, your no. So I'd, be, I'd love to find out if you wanna share with me um, what your yes and your no is. For me, it's like this little sense of pressure, left eye for yes, like, and right eye for no. I feel it right here, it's outside my body, but I sort of feel the, 
the um, effect of it on my body. And it's um, <clears throat> in order to get a clear reading. So instead of starting with an idea of it being no or yes, I place the question in the center and I let it be like a gauge or a pendulum that goes either left or right. So um, you don't have to do that. You can start the question in your heart. You can, you don't have to start it anywhere, but if you find that there's a neutral place between your yes and your no, you might like to place your, um, your question there. Um, so I hope that helps you. You can keep doing this. You can keep trying it. You can slow it down. You have those six questions. Show me my yes. Show me my no. Something true. Something false. Is everything coming through uh, aligned with highest good and highest truth? Am I manipulating? Right? And same rules as with the physical pendulum. If you find that you are manipulating or you're finding it's unclear, stop, go back, start from the beginning, do your alignment, set your intention very clearly, and then ask the questions again. And so once you have that clear yes, no, very easy, very easy in any moment to do a quick check, right? You don't have to pull out your pendulum. You can just do a quick check on, is this a yes for me or a no for me? I hope that's really helpful. There are so many ways that you can use this information. If you're a practitioner working in sessions, one of the ways I love using uh, a pendulum, whether it's my inner pendulum or a physical pendulum, is um, to take my brain I like to, to let my brain have a break. So if I'm in the zone doing healing work, I'm in a non-thinking place, right? I'm in a, a channeling, um, receiving, uh, like a, just a pure giving and receiving channel. And so I don't wanna stop to assess, oh, this piece of information I'm getting right now does that make sense for that to be true or false? Should I interrupt what's happening right now to give this information to my client? That's too much thinking, right? So I can do a quick, is this true? Yes. Is this true? No. Wow, I'm getting this, um, this sense of something that's happening. Is that my projection? No. Is that this person's truth? Yes. Should I speak this aloud right now? Yes, right? And you can get these quick answers um, that make it easier to stay in the flow and, and do your job if you're doing healing work in that way. Thanks so much for joining me for parts one, two, and three of the Practical Divination series. We'll be back on another day with part four oracle cards, part five advanced pendulums, um, and I don't know, maybe there's a part six uh, uh, muscle testing in our future. We'll see. Thanks so much. And please let me know if you have any questions at all. I'm happy to clarify.